Uganda being a secular state recognizes the God-given right of freedom of worship and association. It was because of the need to address the increasing religious hostilities in the world that the Interfaith Harmony Week was established by the United Nations and normally celebrated from 1st to 7th February. Speaking to journalists and religious leaders, regional cooperation at the Nile Dialogue Platform in Mianga State Minister Asman Kienji said religious hostilities undermine peace and therefore religious leaders should use religion as a uniting tool. If we are to seek for religious harmony, right, we should underscore the importance of understanding each other. But we should also be cognizant of the fact that religion is such an emotive force that can be taken advantage of by people and cause a lot of problems for the world. Reverend Aaron Mwesije, Presidential Advisor on Investments, emphasized the need to strengthen intra- and interfaith harmony as a tool to strengthen good neighborhood and national unity. The Interfaith Harmony Week that is being commemorated under the theme, The Golden Rule Exemplified Our Common Objective for Love of God and Love of Neighbor, started on Saturday, first with Ethics Minister Reverend Father Solomon Lokodo, saying that it is time that Uganda discussed and passed the anti-pornography bill as a way of reclaiming African dignity. The commemorations will end with a football match dubbed Play Soccer Makes Peace at Lutengo Nama in Mkono. Joel Vubia, UBC.